Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I am done, man. What do you got? You got email shout out? All right, yeah, I got a couple of emails here. All right, let's see. Shout outs. Here's one that I've been forgetting. Our good friend David Noyes, Chiefs fan. He's been listening to us forever. And I always forget to say hey to David. Say hey, David. Uh, good, glad to have you around. Good, glad to hear you listening. And, you know, speaking of the, the Chiefs fan, Tom, remember last year, last week we were talking about the clown car full of quarterbacks from San Francisco yeah. and Chicago? Yeah. Chiefs fans were fucking hating us because they were all getting Aww. ready to write us emails telling us, hey, oh, we'll take any one of those guys. Yeah. But Aww. they felt ashamed and didn't. Anyway, so, Dave, uh, good luck this year. I don't know how far your Chiefs going to go, but we'll see. Uh, let's see. I got a shout-out for our brand-new friend of ours uh, that's going to be on the brand-new website, which will be up by the end of this week. Shut the fuck up sports.com. STFU sports.com. <laughs> I love yeah, it. Yeah, man. So STFU sports.com is uncensored sports uh, comment and uh, it looks like a forum message board. So go check it out. You'll have a good time there. All right. Let's see. We got an email here. One from uh, Chad Hennington here. Hey, guys. Was up? W A A H. Wait, 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 wait. It's from Chad Henny? Chad Hennington. Oh, Hennington. Yeah, Chad Hennington. I was going to say, hey guys, he, Chad Henney doesn't think. He has nothing to say. What? <laughs> That's what he learned at Michigan, though, dude. <laughs> Was up. W A A H dash S U P. This is what he writes to us. Was up. W A A H dash S U P. Hey guys, Was up. Was up. Okay. Was up. Was up. So not only is it like 10 years out of date, he fucking spells it out phonetically. What the hell is this? Chad, come on. I, mean, I shouldn't even read the rest of this. He just wants to say that if the Patriots don't release Tom Brady, he's going to throw Bill Bella suck my balls into a pool of lava filled with lava sharks. You know, I shouldn't have read that. That's it? Chad, all right, no posting while drunk for you. Damn it! You've got to be shitting me! Was up. <laughs> <laughs> Dude had himself a couple of shots. Hey, you know, I got something to say to those bad guys. Lava with the lava sharks. <laughs> That'll teach them. All right, let's see. We got another one here. As soon as I open it up, uh, from our friend Amy. Or not our friend Amy. Our friend Jen. Jen, the Colts fan. Our friend Jen from Columbus, who uh, got you all offended last week, apparently. Got me offended. Oh, yeah. Well, see, here's what she says. So Sean Merriman talked to four different doctors who all told him to have surgery yesterday but decides to play anyway, and the team supports his decision. Congratulations, San Diego. You've just been norbed. I, norbed. You've been norbed. What do you mean she got me upset? Well, she says, and tell Tom I'm sorry about the pussy comment last week. I, it didn't upset me. Well, apparently Jen must think so because she sent flowers, too. Jen can say pussy all day long. She wants I don't get to bother me one bit. Now, you know, Jen's going to write me a letter with nothing but that in there, right? I'm going to get 50. From now on, from now on, Jen, you're not allowed to say pussy. You must use the word <laughs> vagina. Oh, that's the worst word, dude. That sounds like some kind of disease. Vagina. You know, like a blight of vagina hits some peach trees. Vagina. Yeah, there's no peaches this year because the vagina blight took over the fucking orchard. Vagina. Vagina. <laughs> Vagina. Okay. Um, let's see here. I got another one. Uh, this one's from Josh Wells. Hey, guys. Great two shows since you came back. Both very funny. Anyway, I have to agree with Tom about preseason and injuries. I believe that... Well, you don't need to say anymore. What? You know, that's all you had to say. All right. Well, okay. That's it. Josh agrees with Tom. <laughs> oh, no, go ahead. Finish the email. I just see he agrees with Tom. That's fine. That's enough. Well, I've obviously been put in my place. Josh sides with Tom. What else did he say? Uh, let's see. He said... About the injuries. Uh, he's talking about preseason injuries. He believes that you need time to accurately evaluate your players, and I believe that you can do that plenty well enough without four meaningless football games. Uh, if they cut it down to two games with NFL Europe long gone, <laughs> there may not be many journeyman players, such as Kurt Warner, Adam Vinatieri, Dante Hall. Vinatieri's been on two teams. Uh, Dante Hall, who doesn't worry anybody anymore, and his favorite player, Jake Delhomme, who played on two teams. Uh, as far as preseason injuries go, hell, Brandon Marshall proved there's even a big risk of injury from falling through a TV. Right. Hey, look at Je look at Je well, We had that punter for the Panthers that busted open his or for the Jaguars busted open his leg with an axe that time. Now, but what's his name uh, uh, from Denver that played for oh Brian Greasy man? Remember in his dog fell, fell down a driveway, fell over his dog beer can, <laughs> fell over his dog. <laughs> I'm his telling you, because he didn't have any friends on the team. I think they were just punching him and beating him up, and they had to make a... Threw him down the steps. He ran into a door. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Um, Brad Johnson, when he was quarterback for the Buccaneers the year they won the Super Bowl uh, in preseason, he cut, him, he cut his hand all open on a... Helping move a table or some stupid shit. Yeah, anything can happen. Anything. That's right. But I, I don't... I don't think you need four preseason games to evaluate your talent. No, you I think you can do that in practice every day. Now, I don't think you need it to gear up either. You can do it in two. But I also don't need 18 regular season games. Well, 
I like 16. If you are start adding games, I know they did it once before when they went from 14 to 16, but it's perfect now, and you will ruin every single season record that exists. Yeah, but that's what they said when they went from 12 games to 14, and then from 14 to 16. And it did, and it ruined every record, and it will ruin them all again, and it's all in the name of money and not in the name of the game, and now you've got more games at the end of the year to, to get hurt in before the playoffs, and it's just, you know, it doesn't change anything. Well, if you're going to, that's what I'm saying, though. My point is, is if you're going to play 20 games, why don't you make just 18 of them regular season? You know, it, no matter what, they're playing 20 games. It's not like they're adding any games. You understand what I'm saying? To go through the process. There we go. Well, they're not going to change it anyway. They make too much money off of it. Uh, let's oh, see. Oh no, but they they're going to go. No, no, they're going to they're going to increase the length of the season and decrease the preseason. Now, Goodell's all over it. He's talking about going se- and it's going to be a 17 game regular season. Yeah, but the thing is this. Now, anybody that's a season ticket holder out there in any NFL team, let me know if I am incorrect in this. But everybody that I've met that is a season ticket holder of any team, they force season ticket holders to buy those two games, those two right. preseason games at full right. price. Right. Even if they don't show up, they have to pay right. for it. So yes. it's not like they're adding any games. There's still 20 games that they're getting full price for. Okay. Well, tell me this then. If you're playing 17 games, you're adding one more game. Who gets the home game? We're well, not. You're playing 18. No. Goodell said 17. Well, that doesn't make sense. That's what I just said. They're going to make it 17 well, games. Well, that's just see. That's how you screw things up. <laughs> exactly. That's my point. Well, yeah, but that's not got anything to do with whether whether or not preseason is too long or too short. That's got to do with a stupid ass decision, you know, based on a stupid ass number. I'll tell you what. I bet you I know what they do. They're going to take that 17th game mm-hmm. and they're going to have every team. Play a game overseas. You think? Every week there'll be another overseas game. I'll bet you that's what they do with it. Well, I'm sure that'll stop when they try to play a game in France and three people show up. Nobody gets a home game. Nobody gets a road game. <laughs> oh, they won't play in France. They'll play in London. They'll play in Canada. They'll play down at Aztec Stadium in Mexico. They'll go over to Japan, play in Tokyo, you know. That, I tell you what, they better have these fields in better shape. Well, Tokyo is always in great yeah, shape. Yeah, of course that Aztec is. Stadium's usually in pretty good shape down in Mexico, too. Shoot, that place looks like a cow field. I remember when the Cowboys played what? a preseason game down there that one year. I swear awesome. to God, they were running between sick? sand dunes. Dude, that thing, that place is enormous. It's awesome. I know, it's huge, but uh, the field is always atrocious. And that field last year... Hard to grow grass and sand. In England, it was horrible. <laughs> yeah, England was bad. Well, the, we- the weather was, was really bad, bad, but remember the punt that stuck straight in the ground? Oh, I know. <laughs> All right, you got anything else? All right, let's see. James writes to tell us. I don't know where you guys got the list of strange team names, but in Omaha, Nebraska, there is a team called the Benson Bunnies. Oh, my God. I need a T-shirt. Somebody send me a T-shirt. The Benson Bunnies. The Benson Bunnies. (laughs) Can you imagine playing football for the Benson Bunnies? Uh, Wow. Another Joshua. We we must be number one podcast among Joshuas. (laughs) Okay. I, I can't believe you missed the obvious connection with the Minnesota Skippers. You'd think you'd be putting on more boat parties with double-headed dildos. So I guess what he's uh, going at is the obvious Gilligan's Island connection with the the love boat and all that. All right. So that's all we got. Hey, everybody, I want you to go out to your message boards and promote the show. We'll give you a shout-out on on the show if we see it out there on a message board somewhere. Put a link to the show. When you see the new website, put it up there, man. Tell everybody, hey, man, that Van Cartoon guy, he's got a brand-new website up. Look at that. Bang. All right. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> promote the show we'll shout you out on the podcast help us build it up i'm gonna have all those stupid chicklets all over this website click them god damn it click them boosh boosh right all right catch the ball exactly well we are starting on our second hundred shows starting next week our show 101 now after this okay this show is going to come out and we'll go through week one of the nfl season and we'll be back to our regular schedule where we record on tuesday night show comes out on thursday night friday morning yeah and we will figure out when we're going to open up the chat room and uh invite everyone in we just haven't talked about it yet probably next wednesday yeah probably something like that all right all right then well i will holla next time In Liberty City, I was a three-time Charles Hadley Pool champ. You've been listening to the Bang Cartoon Radio Hour. I'm going to choke it to death until somebody pulls my grip off of it. Bang Cartoon Radio. Michael, your thoughts. Oh, man. I, you know what? Whoo! Fizzle, for blizzle, and booyah! Chin, Ming, Wah. Chin, Ming, Wah. Chin, Ming, Wah.
Ching Ming Wong. I'm paying a whole lot of that shit right there, yo. I guess I like penis. It's very tasty. Yeah. Yeah. That's why we study school. That's why we go to grades to make good grades.